hey guys every hey guys everybody oh YouTube channel my name is Mel and today I'm going to be filming as you can tell by the title I'm going to be filming trying new foods from Tesco very excited to film this video um, because it's a food video like who doesn't love food videos I love watching them I actually love people trying new foods and trying like different like places and stuff absolutely love them um so yeah now i'm doing it myself very excited um i'm more excited because of all this chocolate but all this chocolate all this food i've got around me um most of it is chocolate i did get a bit carried away with the chocolate but i have got stuff i don't like here as well so like i am quite intrigued to see if i do like it like i don't know if i don't like it but i've looked at it and been like i don't think i'm gonna like that so um, like coke say i hate coke i do not like coke i don't like fizzy drinks anything and i've picked up a coke so we'll see how it goes might get good might not go good so we'll find out but yeah all these all these foods and drinks i've generally never tried from tesco's they were all new i've wanted to try some of them really badly but i've saved them for this video so if you like the video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below um comments appreciated tell me what you like tell me what you don't like um also go on my recent instagram post comment that youtube sent you straight um, into the video i hope you guys like it i'm very very excited to try everything that's surrounded by me so let's go i'm gonna um be rating them from one to ten as well ten means it's really good i love it um one means no zero means i hate it um i would not have it again and then obviously five's in the middle as you know that like i do kind of like it so i will be putting on the screen what i'm rating it and stuff so yeah i need to stop talking and let's get into the video is I think I'm going to start with the jelly. It's apple and watermelon. Ooh. So I was like, I really want to know what this tastes like. And I'm pretty sure it's new to my Tesco's, my Tesco's store. Okay. So it's, it's apple and watermelon. It's very, it's not thick at all. It's very slimy. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um. Mm. I. I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm gonna rate the jelly a five. It's just because it's like very sweet and just I don't know. I just, uh, I wouldn't pick it up in the store. Next thing I'm going to try is so I've got some Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. Who doesn't love Kit Kats? Kit Kats. A bomb, 10 10, bit of chocolate, bit of biscuit. You've got it all. Looks. Looks like that. Your normal Kit Kat. Oh my god, it smells delicious. Oh my god. It actually smells pang. It smells like caramel, but not like artificial caramel. Like it smells like when you make your own caramel at home. Not that anyone makes their own caramel at home, but the people that are bakers, those people, it smells like when you, you stir it up and it, yeah, it smells like that. Um, so yeah. That is going in the very good section because that was delicious. So I'm going to rate it. I'm, just, um, 
I don't know. Because I feel like it could be one of the best things here. I'm going to rate it at a 9. I've got a 9. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oli O's. Yeah, so these are the Lazy Gaga's original Oreos vanilla flavour. Yeah, I've seen these and I was like, mm, they just taste like Oreos, not gonna get them. I feel like it's a crime to not have milk with your Oreos, like gotta dunk them to enjoy them because i feel like they're just too hard if you don't dunk them into some milk maybe that's just my opinion but that's what i think They do taste like just normal Oreos. Um, so these, I go in and I do love Oreos, but I feel like you need milk with them. So I'm going to give them a six because they do taste like normal Oreos. They've just put Lady Gaga on them. So, um, so now I've got my Rubicon. we're gonna we're gonna try so it says new and improved recipe so it's new so i was like i'm gonna pick it up and see um i'm not i'm not gonna lie i have picked up another drink as well but um i only drink water now i know you're gonna be like oh that's so boring why does she only drink water who doesn't like coke why don't you drink fizzy drinks i don't know okay i don't know i just like water i like the water it's nice for my system don't get me wrong i like orange juice i like milk too but they're just boring you know what i mean so um i'm not gonna be biased with this i'm gonna be honest but i'm just letting you know as a pre-warning i don't like drinks like this I, I wouldn't buy them in the shop um but yeah anyway i'm gonna try it so I'm just gonna apologize in advance. I don't have a cup with me. Um, and the cup is really far away. So, there we go, don't mind me. So, I'm gonna drink it from the lid, but it's fine because it's only me and potentially my boyfriend who's gonna be drinking it. So, I'm not spreading any coronavirus germs over here. I need a bit more to get a hold of it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like it. <laughs> um, Rubicon is nice, guava is right, mixed together for Mal is a no no go so like I feel like anyone else would like it anyone else would like it but me I'm boring and I drink just water so um anyway, yeah I'm gonna give that a five because it tastes very sweet I don't like it but it's fine it's fine I don't like it so that is going in a five they're called Mexican chili salsa flavor corn chips and I have tried the normal ones before and I felt like the corn was very there like I know they're called corn chips but I was really tasting the corn so I feel like these would be safe also don't you think it's sick how oh, that's cool um don't you think it's cool how Doritos no offense Doritos because I love Doritos Like, I love Doritos, but 
they've kind of hopped on the bandwagon of pringles like this is pringles brand like in a tin like you open it you get one out they're not like in a crisp packet but doritos they've always been in a crisp packet so don't get me wrong i love doritos the orange tiny one especially but they have been copying the pringles Mm. Mm, mm, mm. those oh ten i know i just dissed doritos massively right but they're amazing you can taste the salsa in them but you wouldn't think you would because salsa is a dip but they've mixed the combination of salsa into the dorito like in a bucket they put it in there and the chili is very very low key so those doritos and everyone loves doritos anyway i love doritos so doritos go in very very good they're going as a 10 a 10 people okay oh, i don't want to spill it i really don't want to spill it guys this is my pot noodle I'll just do a quick view jack chicken Ooh. i'm very excited I'm very excited if you can't tell. Basically, they're fingers, and I love fingers. Who doesn't love fingers? But I don't like dark chocolate, so I was like, mm, I'm probably not gonna like these. But I didn't realise they were dark chocolate until after I bought them. <laughs> I just got so excited about the packaging being red and just them. And I've just read them here now on bed. I'm like, oh, they're dark chocolate, and I don't like dark chocolate. But it's me rating them for you so you know whether to buy it or not so that's what it's about not whether i like it or not I'll show you the packet that everyone knows they come like this mm. now they're good but they're dark chocolate so i don't like dark chocolate so it's gonna have to go i'm gonna put them in a five okay but don't get me wrong they're very very delicious yes they are but i don't like dark chocolate next we've got my kit kat um, I'm very excited to see the colour of this. I don't even care what it tastes like. Just on the colour. The colour's gonna look amazing. I think I'm Britney Spears. Um... Oh my god. She is pretty. Are you joking? Is she a marble queen or what? Bruh. That's a Kit Kat. Kit Kat did that. Is it just me? I get really fascinated at Kit Kat. Not Kit Kats. I get really fascinated at like colours and like themes and like, oh, and that looks sick. It's like, it's like someone from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Does it not? Here we go. So this is the, the piece. That's a 10. Very, it's mixed if you don't like dark chocolate, but you like milk, like me. You like that because it's only a little bit of dark chocolate. But if you don't like milk chocolate and you like dark, you'll like that also because it's only a little bit of milk. Okay. I'm saving the best for last, to be honest. Like, second to last because it's just so beautiful. And I saw it on Facebook and I was like, oh my god, we better have this somewhere in the store. And my boyfriend was like, oh my god, is that the chocolate bar? And I was like, oh my god, that's the chocolate bar from Facebook. And yeah, kind of not mad because it's just a chocolate bar with bits in. But yeah, you have to see what I'm talking about at the end of the video. Next, we have these. Muller yogurts now <clears throat> they are open because my boyfriend had one last night 
because I let him. So, yeah. This is what it is. Just no. because, like, cheesecake and a yogurt. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. And it's caramel at the bottom. Like, whew. So, I've got my spoon. And I'm going to open her up. on camera so you can guys see whoa, whoa, whoa. so it's just got um cheesecake sprinkles on the side just like your corner yogurt when it's got your digestives or your your milk chocolate digestives i think corner and muller yogurts are just amazing like who have invented like putting something in the yogurt just delicious why wouldn't anyone think of that like watch this this is insane who would not whoever made sugars like who would have not upped their game like whoever thought to make this is like um so yeah, I'm not eating all of it because that's just a bit boring. I've got a whole pot noodle to go and lose my chocolate. So, so I'm not really getting much caramel at the bottom. There's a little bit of caramel, but it's quite a big bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is perfect. Whoever. Like I said, whoever thought of that is amazing. Cheesecake, who doesn't love cheesecake? In a yogurt, who doesn't love cheesecake in a yogurt? Like, it's just, it's cheesecake, but in a different formation and a lot cheaper. Like, 10, 10. So that's going on my 10. Very, very good. Very, very good. They're called Whipped Greek Style Bliss Cheesecake Inspired Salted Caramel Flavour Underneath Biscuit Crumble. So these are hoods. <laughs> chew bars so i'm very excited i will give you a real a real opinion whether they taste like what they say so you've got apple pie and custard rhubarb crumble sticky toffee pudding and lemon meringue so i'm not going to try all of them you want to taste the sticky toffee pudding because i feel like that you already tell if it tastes like a sticky toffee pudding so this what it looks like <laughs> So it looks like this. Okay, I really can't eat sweets or any of this, really. I can't eat any of this because my dentist told me to stop eating sugar. I'm getting, I'm getting the sweetness. So like um, those sweets you got at Halloween. Or the sweets you buy when you were young as a kid. It does kind of taste like sticky toffee pudding, to be fair. Not like, oh my god, that's... Not sticky toffee. What? <laughs> that's sticky toffee pudding, and I can tell it from a mile away, but I am getting a hint of, of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Next, I've got three things left. So I'm going to try my pot noodle, see if it's ready. I've got my good old fork here. Buck chicken pot noodle. I feel like, I feel like I'd better like this. Okay, it doesn't look too appetising. Just average pot noodle. I don't like pot noodles with makeup because it gets really messy. Oh, okay. Okay. I like this but it's really spicy um yeah it's really spicy but i do like it um that's actually really good so i'm gonna have that in a minute and hopefully it stays warm while i crack through these so i've got a snickers i've seen this oh my god i've seen this in tesco's every single time i run out i was like oh my god we need to try that we need to try that 
and i've also seen the crispy one i was gonna bring that in this video too but i've got so much chocolate so that can be in the next one but there's a blue one that's crispy there's the normal one which is boring because i don't like snickers um but this i was like oh my god let's just it's peanut butter flavor but yeah i'm just gonna try the tiniest bit but yes yeah, so it's creamy peanut butter oh my god let's open it together mm, so you get three little ones like this very convenient oh my god what's that it's like Reese's Pieces and a Snickers yeah, so you've got Reese's Pieces here, you've got Snickers here, it's like, together. I'm not going to have any more because it's so delicious. But that, oh my god, I forgot to rate my pot loot. Um, I knew that would be delicious and I was waiting to try it, but that, the Snickers is going in a 10, 100% 10, 10, 10, 10. And my pot noodle from earlier. Is going in a 10. I don't know if I already rated it, but it's going in a 10 because this is delicious. It is a little bit spicy for my taste buds, but it is delicious. Now, so we've got something I was a bit reluctant to buy because it was £1.40 rip off, and I don't like Coke, so a bit stupid already. But I saw it and I was like, oh, it's a strawberry one. So, I might like it. Twisted strawberry. So, I don't like Coke, but I'm one of those. I was really excited to put this on camera because it just looks so pretty. That's actually why I bought it because it looked really pretty, but yeah. Oh well. I'm all it's fizzing at me. Smells very nice. I can't believe it's got zero. Oh, it's got a fr it lied. It's got three calories in. It says it's got no calories in. It's got three calories in. It's alright. It's alright. It's actually alright. I think I like this one more than normal Coke because it's got a bit of tang in it, like a bit of... Mwah, you know? That is going to go at number five. It's going at a five just because I don't like Coke, so I wouldn't buy it in the shop. And it does make you really gassy and airy in your belly. So for those reasons, it's going at a five. But I understand if you put it at a ten. But yeah, everyone knows what Coke tastes like, but I'd never seen a strawberry one before, so I thought I'd taste test it for you. Um, okay, last drum roll. But not least, because it's the best thing ever. This is the thing I was going on about earlier, and I said, yeah, I'm going to have to wait till the end to see it. chocolate bar now they've bought this out for easter obviously because everyone's going to be buying it for easter but i was like i'm going to taste test it now like, i saw it on facebook i was scrolling i was like oh, there's a mini eggs cadbury's chocolate bar i was like that is just what they should have done many years ago so i'm very very excited to try this and in my real opinions i would have made just a whole video on reviewing the mini eggs chocolate so it looks like she chocolate, normal chocolate, and it's got eggs in it. One pound, that's good. What? Looks like that. That is delicious. It's beautiful. Do you know why it's beautiful? Because it's a mini eggs chocolate bar. Drop the mic. That's going at a 10 because if you don't put that at 10, you're silly because it's a chocolate bar and it tastes delicious. So that's going very high in my books. Uh, so yeah, that's 
amazing thank you everybody for watching my video i hope you liked it as much as i did i enjoyed very much eating all of those goodies so delicious and giving you a view of what things taste like if you don't know that's what they taste like give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to go follow my social media accounts my tiktok my instagram my depop all, all my links will be in the description down below it's literally just below the video so go check them out um um comment in the description what um other food places you want me to go to to test out and yeah see you guys next time bye love you all